man in the street to the top levels of government is divided on the question of withdrawing its force. War brings international repercussions. Mr. Ben-Gurion, in an effort to reach a decision and implement the... Then, dramatically, Ben-Gurion orders the withdrawal on his own authority. At once, the machinery... This is the tiny Gaza Strip, a vortu national currents. Here, patrolling its... Israel refuses to leave this 25-mile slice of land without ironclad guarantees that God... ...where Arab farmers still plow their ancient fields is occupied as the result of aggression, that there can be no... ...lies to unconditional withdrawal. And as life goes slowly on in the Gaza Strip, the wheels of world diplomacy begin to... Pass moves off dead center. An important meeting begins at Cairo. President Al Kawatli of Syria is welcomed warmly by Egypt's President Nasser. They head Arab nation talks to reevaluate the changing situation. An ocean away, another plane brings Premier Molay of France to Washington and a warm reception by Vice President Nixon and Secretary of State Dulles. The foremost objective of the French leader is to restore mutual top-level understanding toward the Mideast. This, Molay hopes to accomplish during two days of talks with President Eisenhower. For his part, the President already has made clear his staunch support of the United Nations. We are approaching a fateful moment when either we must recognize that the United Nations is unable to restore peace in this area or the United Nations must renew with increased vigor its efforts to bring about Israeli withdrawal. The United Nations must not fail. And so the spotlight turns toward the world body, where an immediate solution seems unlikely. Egyptian delegate Fawzi demands Israel's unconditional withdrawal from Gaza, and the word sanctions is mentioned. The response from Tel Aviv is an unqualified no. Then Lebanon's Foreign Minister Malik formally calls for sanctions. But even as it seems the die is cast, behind the scenes diplomacy produces signs of compromise that might lead to a United Nations solution.